Hello, welcome to KubeCon Cloud Native Con. I was fortunate to have been asked to give a lightning talk at the very first Cloud Native Day, and it's an honor to be with you here in Valencia today. In this lightning talk, we will be discussing how to scale container builds with software supply chains with the build packs, flux, and cartographer projects. So build packs is a CNCF incubating project, and it's designed to simply go from source code to a running container. There are no Docker files required to build the container image, so all that complexity just melts away. It seems like also every day in the news we hear something about a software bill of materials or an SBOM, how it's either required or helpful. BuildPax also creates an SBOM natively as part of the build process. The BuildPax spec is involved with a logical mapping of layers to components, so it makes it easy to do rebasing. So this is really good for incremental builds, um, which results in minimal data transfer when a full uh, rebuild is not required. BuildPacks API supports a wide variety of SBOM formats, including SIFT, SPDX, and Cyclone DX. The SBOM is created at build time, which is nice because the user doesn't have to go back to scan the container to try to figure out what packages are in the container. There's also a lot of really nice um, metadata in the SBOM also, including what processes are available, uh, what run image was used to create the app image, and as well as what build pack was used to create the app image. The rebasing capability in build packs is key because large organizations could have hundreds of apps that use a common base OS layer. And if one package in that base OS layer changes, that means all the applications need to be rebuilt. Say all these applications use logging and say there's a base logging package, say log4j. That means every time the update happens of the base package, the image needs to be rebuilt. But build packs can make that easy because build pack images are, built, are composed of layers and the app images can all share a common runtime layer. So in our example, when that base OS layer is updated and all the application images are affected, build packs can upload a single patch copy of the OS packages in the environment to the container registry. So this rebasing can happen very, very quickly. This can happen in the order of milliseconds. And then a tool like KPAC can automate the run of the build pack builds. And then a supply chain like Cartographer can then deploy the app images at scale. So Cartographer is a Kubernetes native supply chain. It's designed to be very efficient. You write your Kubernetes resources once and then reuse them as templates. So it minimizes the YAML developers and operators need to use. And it gets us away from that wall of YAML burden or impediment. It defines all the steps for an app to reach the path to production. So it's really good at automating best practices and a shift left methodology. It's designed to work with any Kubernetes object. And any Kubernetes object that is applied to the cluster can be used in the supply chain. It's also designed to work with existing tools like CI-CD pipelines. So Cartographer is based on choreography, which is more flexible than linear orchestration. With linear orchestration, typically a phase, say a pipeline run happens, it goes deep, and then everything waits till the end of that phase of that pipeline run. Choreography is essentially a graph. It has an event broker, so anything can trigger an event in the supply chain. It's based on a Kubernetes API, so it's essentially looking at Kubernetes objects, a status, and updating the spec field. So in our example, where the base OS layer changed, then build pack can trigger the container releases automatically. So all that happens without a code commit from the developer. In addition to the choreography, you can also have an automatic run of the supply chain when the developer commits code to the repository. Flux is a CNCF incubating project. It has a Git watcher. So when the developer hits commit and uh, uh, commits to Git, then the supply chain runs. So it's based on the GitOps philosophy. So you have a nice declarative state. You have um, all the rich archiving and revision history and the single source of truth of Git. So, Scaling container builds, build pack with the rebasing is very powerful. Flex is the git watcher, and then the supply chain choreographer ties it all together. For more information on build packs, check out the session on Thursday. Check out the session on Friday for Flux and Flagger. And for more information on Cartographer, please join us on the Twitter feed, as well as join us in the community meetings and the open hours that occur every week. So thank you for your interest in scaling container builds with supply chains.